everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome back to train life a railway simulator and again we're on console so i hope you guys were with me last night or had a chance to see the uh, pre-release live stream we did on the ps5 and if you haven't done so already and you haven't watched it there is a link coming up in the top right hand corner now so you can go and catch up with that so if you if you've not bought the game yet you consider buying it on console take a look at that pre-release stream see what you think uh, but in that stream, I did explain that um, out of the box, um, on the console controller, uh, the controls are a bit strange. And um, I promised to put this short video together, just showing how I had remapped some of the uh, buttons to the controller to make it a little bit more like Train Sim World. If you've played Train Sim World on the console, then um, these buttons that I'm going to show you will will make a lot of sense and be familiar to you. Uh, likewise, if you're on the Xbox, we're on the PS5, but if you're on the Xbox, you can use exactly the same layout. Uh, just use your equivalent button for your uh, Xbox controller. So, uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Um, and if this video helps you as well, please leave me a like because that helps me out a lot. So let's get into the, uh, the settings. If I just press R1 to get into this. Now, what I will say is keep your eye on what we've got in the list on the left because what I've noticed is over on the right, uh, the picture of the uh, DualSense controller uh, with the buttons mapped, the, the, the mapped buttons are wrong. Don't look at the right hand side. That's not actually what's going on. The, the throttle up, throttle down, for example, is not how I've got it mapped out. So if you look over on the left, uh, this is where you'll get the actual details. So I'm gonna uh, keep the screens on as long as I can so that you can uh, you can see what we've got it set to, but just pause the video if you need to have more time looking at what those settings are. So um, in this top section, uh, to be honest, I've not done much to it. Uh, this is all about your um, vertical and horizontal rotation uh, and whether you've got the zoom inverted so that is down to your your own personal choice really uh, different sensitivities what i will say is though uh, just to note this one when you first get into the cab of the train if you are used to looking left and right from the driver's seat with the right stick uh, out of the box it's using the left stick so you can switch the stick there to use the right stick instead so that's what i've done so that's on that's now making look left and right uh at the right stick rather than the left uh, vibrations a personal preference i think um, i quite like it um, as you're going over the points in the train you get a slight rumble in the controller so that's actually really nice i i don't mind that at all um, so personal choice on that one these are the main ones these are the driving controls. So first of all, uh, I've changed this to what we're all used to. Throttle up is using R2. So as I said, over on the right hand side there, it's telling me that R2 is throttled down, which is wrong. So don't don't look at the, the diagram on the right hand side. Uh, throttle up, I've changed to R2 and literally you just go into this. Um, and you can see the you just go from what it was set to and you can change it to something else. So I've changed it to R2 uh, and now I've pressed circle. <laughs> I've pressed circle thinking I'm coming, I'm coming out of, uh, I'm coming out of the menu. That's a habit I use a lot. Let's change that back to R2. <laughs> uh, throttle down is R1. Again, we're used to that. Then over on the left hand side, we've got the brake controls. So to apply more brake, I've used L2. Uh, L1, of course, to release the brake. The emergency brake is circle. That's a standard button. The reverser is uh, the D-pad down. That's a standard button as well. Uh, changing the switches as you're going over the switches. This is a standard button. So this is uh, you just flick triangle as you come towards the switches. That's standard. The cabin interaction is just X. So you can click all the controls on the, the desk of the cabin. 
that's a standard button as well. Uh, and you can change the cameras by uh, pressing R3. That's standard. I've not changed that. Horn is standard. Headlight mode. Track interaction. Next navigation mode. Uh, these are all standard. The station com box. Bringing up the radio menu. And the tablet. The pause menu. So they're, they're all the same. Let me just leave it on that uh, section for a while. So you can, you can catch up with that. Uh, so so they're all pretty standard it's mainly the uh, throttle and brake controls and the uh, stick uh, left and right stick is is what you want to change to make it how you want it uh, let me just flick to um, let me just flick to gameplay um, these again are just personal choice I've got dead bands button off at the moment Air conditioning. Now, I don't know if I turn that on, am I going to get a blast of air behind me? I don't know. <laughs> the uphill button, uh, I'm not quite sure what that does. Don't know whether that gives me a kind of boost, a kind of four-wheel drive or something. That's off at the moment. I have my mini-map orientation to show the uh, GPS, so where we're headed. And the zoom mode is, is automatic. Um, just trying to think, is anything else? I think that's it. What have I got in audio? Audio. I've, the only change I made in the audio was uh, to turn the music down for YouTube purposes. Um, so there is usually background music the whole way through the game, but I've got that off. Um, and that is it for this video. So I hope that's been useful. Um, you'll have seen me play with these controls exactly as they are last night on the stream. Um, I've got it exactly how I want it now. Hope this helps you. If it has, please leave me a like and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell because uh, this is new on consoles and we'll be playing this quite a bit. So look out for more tutorials, hints and tips over the coming days and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.